Michelle. And we're here for a Shady Trees road trip. Where are we road tripping to, Michelle? We're off to the Blue Mountains for the Stitching in the Mountains retreat. We Yay. are. Can you see my car? This is the Paddock Lane Design Shop and plus the retreat goodie bags and a whole bunch of stuff that Michelle and I have been working very hard for the last few weeks <laughs> to prepare. But I'm really excited to be going. Are you excited to be going? Yes, absolutely. Are you excited that I'm picking you up at 6.30 in the morning? Uh, not so much. No, <laughs> no. I'll, I couldn't sleep either. So we're on our way. It's only meant to be about a two, two and a half hour drive depending on traffic. So what we're going to do is we are going to give you a bit of a road trip along the way. Um, I've got my GoPro to try out so you'll have a few moments where you'll be able to sit back and stitch and just enjoy the view. There's a couple of little points along the way. Um, those who've watched my, my tripping videos before will probably recognise some of the points because I've already done the Blue Mountains trip but we're going further into the Blue Mountains and I want to try out my GoPro. So sit back, enjoy your, enjoy your stitching and we'll be back to you a bit later. Bye! <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing everyone yeah. and learning some new things. Awesome. Well, I think they are good things to be looking forward to. Um, seeing everyone, uh, you got old friends, new friends, friends yet to meet? What's, what, what's um, the situation? I've got some old friends and some friends that I met at um, other retreats the last couple of years that are coming as well, so it's going to be... Fun. It will be fun. I'm really excited about that because everyone always says the people's the best thing about retreats and, and it really is. Being in a room full of like-minded people, even though yes. we are all different, like so many different things, um, like-minded people, I've got I've got friends who I've met through retreats and through our online Zoom group. Yeah. Um, I'm super excited because not only is a whole bunch of my friends that I've met coming a bunch of people from our Zoom that I've not met in person are coming. Ooh. So we get to meet them for the first time. Oh, I'm yay. so excited. Um, and then I'm also excited because I've got a whole bunch of customers coming that I recognise their names. Now, just going to interject there for a second. We're about to cross the Hawkesbury River Bridge. This is the, the official boundary of the northern part of Sydney, the Hawkesbury River. Yeah. And um, this is where you, um, yeah, this is a, a little town called Brooklyn which is gorgeous. Um, I think I've shown you before in one of my trips. The thing is I've, I've filmed a lot of these before, but I haven't necessarily posted them. So I don't know what you've seen and what you haven't. So please forgive me if I double up, but if not, you'll find things. On the left, you can see the old bridge. And then on the right, we're on the new bridge. We're on the M1, which is the freeway north of Sydney. And this is about as big as the roads get in New South Wales, three lanes each way. Yeah. Um, and also while you're looking, you can see the beautiful um, rocks and the eucalypt. This, this foliage is very, very typical of northern Sydney and central um, coastal New South Wales. So enjoy that while we're chatting. Okay, so yeah, and then I've also got lots of friends yet to meet. So we've yes. got we've got um, we've got about 40 people coming to this retreat. Um, 
and it's a different type of retreat which you alluded to you're looking forward to learning new things yes because this retreat we're running for stitching the mountains is more of a smaller intimate boutique style retreat as i said with there's only like 40 people and it's a collaboration between myself patagonia designs and joanna of mojo stitches and it's a designer retreat so the idea of this retreat is that we are actually going to be teaching classes um is there anything you're forward to learning in particular? Uh, I think the specialist teachers. Yeah, so what we're going to do is um, Joanna and I have designed retreat pieces, um, plural, but in our main retreat piece, there's actually, we've used cross stitches, back stitches, and a couple of specialty stitches. Um, and what's going to happen is that, well, I can tell you all this because by the time this video goes up tonight, um, this will have already happened, so it's not giving away anything, but it's letting yeah. you know, and you need to know as my, as my indispensable person assistant, <laughs> I have to show you her t-shirt soon, um, is that when we get there at 12, the doors will open, yeah. and people can get in and get settled, and at 2 o'clock is our official kickoff time, so with the welcome and the official unveiling of the swag bags. Um, in the swag bags, one of the things they're going to find is the materials they need for the first class, which I'm teaching you. And the first class is actually stitch your own name tag. And I was trying to think of, you know, how is I going to learn everyone's names and how is I going to know what was going on? And then I had the idea, well, we'll stitch a name tag. And then I had to think about how can we stitch a name tag? How am I going to do it in a way that we can actually get them to wear it at the retreat? Yeah. Because it's one thing to stitch it, it's another thing to FFO it. Yes. Um, and I, so I had the idea of, I charted everyone's names so they get that pattern with everyone's names on it as a memento from the retreat as well. And if they're really crazy, they can actually stitch everyone's names as a memento or, you know, ask people to stitch the first letter of their name or something. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, that's an idea. I might do that. Um, <laughs> as, as a memento of the retreat, that would be really cool. Um, so it's, um, yeah, it's um, going to be stitched on a piece of fabric and then finished in one of those really nice brown wooden rings so a little hoop um, that you can like pin onto your shirt as a name tag and then the, the teaching part of the class apart from telling what we're going to do is the, the actual specialty stitches there's three or four specialty stitches that are used between Joanna's and my piece so I'm going to show people how to use them and the idea is that you're going to use your name tag like the practice piece for those yeah so you'll be able to put them on your name however you want in a form of practicing once you've stitched your name. So I'm looking forward to that. And another thing that's super cool is at this retreat, we have got three different types of stitches. Um, we have got all levels of competence from people who don't really stitch through to you know experienced model stitches for companies, famous companies. Um, but we have also got people who love to stitch, you know, the 40 count linens, the 28, 32 count even weaves, and the 14, 16 count adas. So we've got the full gamut of fabrics, which has made me a very busy fabric dyer in the last few months, and yes. Michelle's a very, very busy indispensable person packing. Um, so what sort of fabric and colour would you be hoping I would put in your bag? I don't remember what I put in your bag, but what, what are you hoping for? Well, Ada, obviously. Yep, I know, I know I put Ada in your bag, I know that. <laughs> um, 18 count and either a purple or a blue maybe okay. hopefully all right well, we'll, we'll have, see we will do an official unboxing of michelle's bag because she doesn't know everything that's in her bag no she knows some of it but she was I, getting I some of it, she, not all of it we should have taken a photo of michelle packing the bags the other day to put <laughs> this like afterwards i didn't think of that poor michelle was out in the sun for two hours the other day packing the bags yeah sorry about that that's okay um, but yeah, look, I think our swag bags are really good. I know everyone always loves the swag. Um, so I have made a big effort to try and give us a really good swag bag. All right, so I hopefully you enjoyed that bit of the scenery. Um, we're heading down now towards Sydney. We're not really going through the city of Sydney as such when we get there. We're going to be bypassing through all tollways through the tun new tunnels and things so we're gonna, i'm going to put you on the um on the time lapse to enjoy 
enjoy the music and the view as we go through um, that bit of the scenery. And we'll be skirting basically right around the northwest of Sydney um, to get to head to the Blue Mountains. So we'll look forward to catching you soon. Bye. I like rides in the water parks. Okay. 
Yeah. But I cannot do roller coasters and things. Okay. But I love Australia's Wonderland because I also had the um, historical places in it where yeah. you could they dress up in character and show you what it was like. We've got a bit of a bit of a bikey um, convoy happening. I can't read their jackets. Western Sydney something. Western Sydney chapter, I think. I think that's what it says. I'm not quite sure. Oh, this one's got music playing. Anyway, they can, they can overtake us. They'll be leaving us for dust in no time because I'm to be doing the speed. Hey! Bless me. Okay, so as we're heading along this bit of freeway, Michelle, and looking at the beautiful view of bikers. So for anyone who is a biker fan, you've got a beautiful view of the bikes. And yeah. I know nothing about bikes other than they are bikes. That's about my knowledge yeah. too. And I can see that this one at the back is something a bit special for standing Ooh, up, stretching his clever. legs. Oh, he's, doing it. he's doing the standing ride. There you go, we were talking about um, roller coasters and things. That would yeah, be yeah. like a roller coaster van. That would be. What are you looking forward to the most about being Blue Mountains? Well, the views, because they are so pretty up here. Yeah. So pretty. Um, I'm also, yeah, back to coffee. I'm hoping there's like a nice little cafe and stuff around yeah. where we are. Well, where we are, where we're staying in Manella is on the main side road of Blackheath, and it's seriously only half a block to the highway. So it's right in the like, basically like I don't know 10 meters from the shops and there is a whole range of things there are cafes um, small supermarkets then big antique mall there's a pub like a really nice pub um, there's coffee shops there's a chocolate shop Ooh. there's a bakery so it's walking distance to everything that you're going to need you have no problems getting good coffee plus Glenella provides an espresso pod machine and plungers and Joe's bringing um, plunger coffee for people to enjoy at the venue so you don't have to go out as well for the time. Nice. So that would be that would be really cool. I want to see what Glen itself is like. Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful old um, guest house really. Um, probably like the original guest house in Blackheath or one of them, where there's um, there's room for I think I can actually probably sleep 40 people. But we can't sleep 40 people because we don't want to share beds. Yeah. So, oh my, goodness. oh my goodness, that was um, not very safe. That would have been really convenient to catch an accident on the motorbike on camera, I guess. But then we would have had to stop and give our GoPro footage to the police. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad that that didn't happen. I think that car was partially. <laughs> Yeah. He was a bit of a local road as we went past him too, but maybe he was just shocked by the bikes. Oh, the bike is it turning they're off turning now, off. going that way. Bye! Well, they're probably going onto the highway here, but it's probably a better road. Or they might just be going to their base in Penrith or something. Yeah. Don't know. Um, anyway, Glenella is a beautiful guest house, and I'm going to give you a tour of Glenella when we get there. But because we, we're using single beds, we've got some people sharing two people to a room. We, there is one room that has four single beds in it and we did have four people booked into it but really sadly two of those people have had to pull out at the last minute due to family emergencies. Oh dear. Yeah, it's really sad but we are going to send their swag down to them because they deserve that. Yeah. We're really sad that they can't join us. Yeah. Um, so sending out our hugs and thoughts to you both. One of them is actually a happy family occasion. Her um, family member is actually um, giving birth earlier than oh, expected so all hands on deck and the other one is a, is a um, not so happy illness situation oh. so um yeah sending sending our thoughts and, yeah. and, and stitching good stitchy vibes to both of you anyway may you still get some good stitching in yes um and we will um, definitely be letting you know about the, um, the upcoming retreats for next year which you know, we're hoping there will be a repeat oh, like, yes you know stay tuned for more information on that front um, all right, well, that's what there is in Glenella and that's what there is to offer. So, we are about to hit the foot of the mountains. Um, so, we will give you another um, sit back and stitch and enjoy the view, bit of, bit of footage um, shortly.
driving through the suburb of Warimu and she doesn't know it but our friend Sue is about to be well we're not picking her up because we can't fit her in the car but she's coming to help me get set up as well so we've just got Macca's coffee for her and Michelle because I don't yes. drink coffee um, and so we are um, we are driving um, through Warimu to stop and pick up Sue so you'll get to see where Sue lives I don't know if she wants that broadcast all over all over YouTube but it's just the way it goes uh oh yeah <laughs> so it's just it's, um, typical of the view you see in the Blue Mountains of the, the one main road that winds its way up as I said that those explorers um, Lawson, Stewart and I forget the other one but we'll find that out, um, that they they found this path that could get over the mountains and it's really good because then that could open up the, the, the fertile farmlands on the other side of the mountains and that's what actually made the settlement of Sydney flourish. Yes. Oh no, she's ringing us again. She's keen to ring us. <laughs> I'm not keen to talk to her while I'm talking to you because that's too hard. Unless we, unless we went faster. Did we? I haven't seen this. Maybe. Where was that? Yeah, that's not the school I was looking for. Um, maybe, maybe we went faster. Hello? I think you just drove straight past me. I think we did. Uh -oh. Well, we're, we're heading to the right, Bor so little, Borimu Village Centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go into those little shops and I'll meet you there. Uh, okay, how's that past you? Okay, bye. Well, we, dr we drove past it because I was looking for the next school. You did. You drove past me. I saw you. I okay. Saw you look at me. Bye. I'm at the post office. I'm at the post office. Uh, Bye. 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 Well, there you go. You don't know where Sue lives because we drove right past her. Wrong school Oops. I was looking for. Oops. So here we are at the Warren New Shops. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. to the highway and the whole way up the mountains pretty much but interestingly it, it keeps switching between whether it's on the left or the right hand side because we're basically transversing the top of a ridge to get over the mountains so um, they sort of the train line goes and then the road curves around and you can see where the train line is which is pretty cool um, so as we go around here we hopefully we'll get a couple of nice views for you you can see that the foliage has changed a bit the, the eucalypts have gotten to a different brand coming up on the, the right is the blue mountains hospital and, and then we're going to head up to where there's the the center of katoomba we're not going into katoomba today but you will get to see you know the the, the village town of Katoomba. I don't think you'd call it more than the town, would you, Sue? No, probably not. Probably not. I don't know if you can hear Sue. She's, she's, she's on speakerphone. She's our tour guide with the mostess on this trip. Oh, stunning views to the left, Michelle. Oh. Stunning views to the left. I don't know if people okay. get to see them, but we can at least enjoy them from the outside of the windows of the car. Yeah. I, I have learnt through doing these films that you um, don't want to shoot out the side of the car because it's just too hard with everything flashing by so that's why you're on the front windscreen but i do like where this gopro with the suction cup is sitting um, so you're not having to look at any dashboard or what and that makes me very 
very happy. So I hope it makes you guys happy too. You'll have to give me a comment and let me know what you think of the footage and whether you like it better than my old footage. If you're someone who's been able to experience the joys of my pre-GoPro filming and my post-GoPro filming. All right, so if you turn left, you can go and see all the tourist attractions and the town of Katoomba. And if we wanted to go to the supermarket... And the three sisters. Yep. The lovely three sisters. The three sisters are the most iconic tourist attraction on the Blue Mountains. Um, and that's where the nearest right. supermarket is to where we're going, pretty much. Yeah, we just went past the Edge Cinema as well. You missed that. Ah, oh, there you go. Well, you didn't tell me to a guide with the mostest. Got to oh, tell the people so what we're driving by. I know, I know, I know that's not Oh, hey, God. Yeah. I think that's like the biggest screen in the mountains, that one. Like, massive. Well, it was probably the biggest screen anywhere for a while, except they did just redo the um, IMAX down in Sydney, so now it's got the biggest screen in the Southern Hemisphere or something. Yeah. Um, look at these beautiful trees. Wow, oh, so lovely. It gets a lot colder up at Katoomba. You can see that's why the foliage has changed. It's a lot more, um, well, I say, snowy. I mean, the weather in the mountains is so unpredictable that it's not expected to, but there's no reason it couldn't snow on us this weekend if the, if the conditions were right. <laughs> so, um, coming up, we've got the big bushfire control centre, and this is where there is a tree. Coming up on the left, very soon, is a tree that is in memorial to one of the three um, uh, explorers, which were Blacks explorers. Yeah, Blacksland, Wentworth, Blacksland, Wentworth, 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 Lawson. All right, so I don't know why I was saying Sturt. I feel like he did it too, but um, Blacksland, Wentworth and Lawson are the three who are attributed to um, the, the task of and the success of finding this, this route across the mountains. So, um, yes. yes, I'm pretty sure their tree comes up pretty soon. I just did a quick Google. Yep. And it says that some people say that this tree, they, gave, they carved their initials into it. So that's why they think this is a specific tree for them. They marked the tree. They marked the tree on their way across. Right. Well, there you go. I think if I was transversing the mountains, I would want to carve my initials into a tree too. Yes. All right, so I think it's this turn off here. There it is. It's just, it's just up there, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Very deep right there. Yeah, just up there. Yep, yeah. Crown Lands. So you can't actually see the tree from the highway anymore because it's too overgrown. But it is interesting to give you that bit. And here we have a nice bit of view, and then we'll turn you off, and the next time you'll see us, will be on our approach to Waxland. We're going to save the rest of the mountains footage to give you something to look at on the way home on Sunday. Alright. Alright guys, we are now coming in to the town of Blackheath, which is where the retreat is being held. And hopefully the battery on the camera lasts long enough for us to drive in and show you us pulling up to the actual venue. So if not, sorry, we'll do it again, but we're going to see it. So Blackheath, we're at 1,065 metres above sea level, which is a pretty um, decent height. You can see the big phone tower up ahead. So we should have good mobile phone reception and apparently there's good Wi-Fi too, so that makes me very happy. It means I'll be able to upload these videos every day is my plan. Um, so we shall see. We shall see what happens. But just around this corner should be the corner that we want to turn and then we'll be there ready to start two hours of hard setting up work. So here we go I can see our road coming up. Beautiful little black heat. There's a good place here because there's a heritage center and a place called Govett's Leap and that's where we're turning down Govett's Leap Road. That's where Glenella is. So it's coming up here to the lights and getting it ready. Oh, there's an IGA there. Okay, that's good to know. Don't even know where the fish and chip shop, the fire brigade, there's the pub, and there's a whole bunch of cafe 
cafes and things just up this bit of the road as well. Yeah. That's down here. Oh, look, there's a shoe store if we need shoes. But bakery and patisserie, butcher, um, the friendly grocer. So it's a friendly grocer and an IGA. That's really exciting. And um, come on, lights. There we go. All right, here we go. Turning into the road on which our venue is. On the right is the antique centre. And then we are going just down here on the left. And hopefully, oh, it looks a bit crowded out the front. Hopefully there's room for us to pull up out the front. Not, oh, yes, there is. Good. Welcome to Glenella, guys. Here we are at Glenella. Oh, look, she's put cones out for me. Fantastic. Hi, FlossTube. I'm Lisa. And I'm Jenny. And we're, we're the Shady, Shady Tree, Tree Stitches. Stitches. We are coming to you together from the um, lovely town of Blackheath in Blue Mountains in New South Wales, Australia. And where we have just, we are spending the weekend doing the wonderful Stitching in the Mountains retreat. Um, that is being run by myself <laughs> and Joanna from Mojo Stitches. So we are going to be um, chopping and changing lots of different videos that we've shot at various times um, throughout the weekend because we're actually filming this at the end <laughs> even though this is the beginning this will be what you see first yes. but we're filming it at the end but it, it's a little bit like what we've done before for yeah. um, um, Daisy Chain where we did us chatting but also chatting with some of the other floss tubers who were here and yeah and this is snippets from the weekend and, and i'm not sure yet if this is coming on as part of the travel video i think i might just make it as one big one so you've just had me and michelle traveling here a few days ago <laughs> ah, and then at the end you're going to have another stitch and drive of us going home because we're actually going to go home a different road i think mm, cause I because there's traffic, traffic. Yeah. unfortunately i can't go the other way no but anyway. if i go the other way i might as well sit in the traffic it's going to take the same length of time. yeah mm. anyway enough about that yeah, yeah yeah so fun let's stuff. Onto fun rewind stuff. yes first of all jenny Yes. Your normal stitching for the month of September. Yes. Or whatever it is. Yes. So so September was slightly better than August, but not well. Yes and no. So in August all the stitching I did was at the Daisy Chain Retreat. In September all the stitching that I did was what I talked about in the last one that I was going to, to Ned and Liz's and uh, yeah, little aside from that, because we posted that video a bit late, Ned watched it and then she's going we're stitching at Liz's this weekend? What? Um, huh? Oops. And then she, she didn't realise. We were yeah. just like posting. Anyway, so, oh, so yeah, so by the way, so today is Sunday the 22nd of October. Right. I so think. our schedule yes. is totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so yes, so my September stitching. So I did do some stitching on um, Blackbirds and To All a Good Night earlier in the year, but you may remember that I was not happy with my brick colour. Yes. This. Hang on, whoops. I dropped the pattern. Sorry. No, 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 I just want to have it. That was the colour. That's not actually showing up quite so pink. No. It is very pink. It is not brick coloured. And I like the colour that shows of the bricks on the pattern. And I got the thread. I, I paid for the over dyed thread. Like, this is the Gentle Arts Raspberry Parfait, is what it called for. And I didn't like it. So I, my, my Dave's. Oops, dropping things. Um, my day of stitching at Liz's, I unpicked all of the pink and I have restitched in the colour that Nat and I found, which is burgundy bark from Cottage Gardens, who is much more brick coloured. Lovely. So I have redone all of the bricks. So all of this, I, I unpicked all of this in the pink and I have restitched in the new colour and it looks much more like bricks. Lovely. Much more like the cover picture so i am much happier very nice but yeah i figured i needed to sort of get that done to test is that new color the right one so yes very cool yes so i can't remember how many stitches i think maybe only 150 or something like that but i did also spend the time unpicking yes Froggy. so yes yes awesome so yes so again not a very big stitchy month but yes whatever um and then Oh, <laughs> when I pulled this out, I'm going, I've got a needle on each needle minder, huh? But that's because in the last sassy pouch, we got the ball tip needles. Ah, so you're trying that. So out. I've got a ball tip needle ready for when I do it again, uh -huh. I'm going to try the ball tip one. So, awesome. yes, just a little aside there. 
So that was all my September stitching. There you go. So isn't it good we didn't do a whole video on Jenny's September <laughs> stitching friends? Um, now you're, you're up to date with my stitching because I did finally manage to post my floss tube just before yes. I came. Yes, you did. Um, so I only have stitching from the retreat. So me too. let's move into stitching from the retreat. Yes, which, which for me is actually currently all of my October stitching because October hasn't started off very well. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, but that's okay. I am very excited to have a finish. A big finish. Well, I finished yeah. baking. So baking yes. is one of my four from the, yeah, that's about right there. Yeah. Um, a series of four, there's probably more, Little House Needleworks and gardening, reading, quilting, and baking. Mm. So what is even more exciting about this is it's done on a piece of my old Ada ice dye, but perfect for this pattern. Yes. I'm going to FFO it by getting frameshop.com.au. I'm going to get a wooden oh, frame yeah. in a similar colorway to the browns that you see on there. Good that for sort it. of, you Yeah, know, because with the, with the busy stitching and the busy fabric, yes. you need a plain Just frame. Just a plain yes. wooden frame in the yes. color that blends. I don't want a dark wood, I don't no. want a light wood. I just want the medium wood that's about the browns that's there. And I think that'll be quite achievable. Yeah. Um, and I'm, then I'm going to frame it. And I may even decide just to do a framing, how to frame video. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because you order the frame, they send it and to you, I and then you have to mount it yourself. Yeah. Yes. So if you'd be interested in me showing this as a how to frame video, please comment below. Mm -hmm. And um, if enough people want to see it, then I might bother <laughs> to do it because I have the ability to do it now that I have the GoPro. Ah. Uh -huh. Now I do apologise. There's some people walking through, so there'll be a couple of hellos <laughs> and goodbyes, and nice to see you. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we've had such a great time. Um, anyway, so the most exciting thing though about this as well is that this means there is only one of my gold pieces left. And okay, then you, ideally you wanted to have them all finished by June, but just yeah, shush, shush. By the end of the year, that's fine. End of the it's year fine. is fine. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that one will get done by the end of the year, but oh yeah, because you just finished old time wagons too. Yes, I've actually finished yes. a couple that weren't on the list, and I've finished. You know, so oh, okay. but out of the original list, yes. I only have Savannah's curtsy left. Oh, right. And so my That's goal... Still got, you've still got a yeah, fair She's got a big dress on her. My goal for Savannah's curtsy is to maybe finish her at the Mirabilia retreat in February. Oh, that would be appropriate. Yeah. Yes. But it does still mean, I think I still have another finish or two to do this year to get down to the 50 because I started like the um, garden, the lower pro garden. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the bird cage. Yeah. Yes. I will obviously be finishing my craft rooms to Chant Sal. Well, yes. When it, yes. You know, that will be a New Year's Eve finish. Okay. Um, I well, can't, yeah, I can't yeah. do it. No, today. no, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to try and get it all get everything up. else yeah. done up to there. Yeah. And then I also can't finish my um, my frosted pumpkin homecoming no. castle because it doesn't finish till February. Right. But I want to try and get it caught you up. You want to get caught up because yes, last yeah. time I think we at least last time we spoke, you'd finished one piece like one mm. edition. Mm. Mm. You'd finished the first piece, but but they I've released done, well, I've three done a or couple, more. Yeah, I've done a couple. I'm not yeah. too far behind, but oh, good. that's so what I'll be stitching up. on. Plus, I haven't done any of my whip goes for October. <laughs> um, so I need to do my October whip goes. <laughs> I want to finish my Olympics, which means 1,200 stitches on my Animal Kingdom and my oh, it's Savannah. So oh, yeah, I need yeah, to do yeah. 1,200 stitches on each of those. Yeah. So that sort of falls into my plans as well, people. Yeah. Okay, that's my stitching. Okay, so what I've been stitching at retreat apart from the name tag, which I'll show you when we do swag bag. Um, I've been doing some more on Yoda because I thought, well, knock it over. Um, I, it's possible. He, he's, 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 he's close. He's not really close. Um, like there was no way I was going to finish him this weekend. And um, I was not able to stay at the retreat for the whole of the weekend. I had other scouting and SES things to do. So various things took me away. Um, but I have done some more. Um, if I remember, I will send Lisa a photo to insert of where he was. And now, so today I've been working, he, he no longer has a bald spot on his forehead. <laughs> I've been working, so I haven't done a whole lot. It's um, maybe 150 stitches yesterday and today. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> I, will, I will stand up for Jenny here. Jenny has had to run back to Sydney 
a few times to do different things. One time, but, it, but was, it, it took me out for like six or she, seven she hours. She didn't arrive for a long time on the first day because yeah. she was in Sydney working. And so, traffic. Yeah. yeah. So um, in your defence, you've done yes. well, and I think yes. that's great. You can keep working on him for the month of a knock it over and see how yeah. close yeah. you can get. Cause, yeah, because as you can see, there's, 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 there's not a lot left. No. I've, I've got to do all of this ear and then fill in. There's, there's various blank spots, which because it's big chunks of the one colour, yeah, that, that's why there's gaps. But yeah, so he's, he, I, I want to get him finished this year. Fantastic. Yes. So that's all we've stitched on people. That is all the actual <laughs> stitching. But as you can see, we are, we're filming in a lovely location. I positioned this actually, we're in front of part of what was my shop, which is being yes. packed up. And I just want to point out these two pictures here that you can only just see, thank you, Jenny, are the original owners of this building. Um, and this building, I'm pretty sure, was originally a guest house for people to stop at on their way across the mountains oh. as they were traveling. So it's always been a guest house. Yes, oh. yes. So it's lovely. Um, and as we, um, you'll hear coming up there, it's exciting. We will be back here for more retreats. This is going to be a, an annual or biannual event. So very exciting. All right, guys, this is the stitching room. And we're just going to quickly show you as a whole bunch of beautiful stitching being done by all these lovely ladies. Because at this retreat today, they are all lovely ladies. But I'm going to come over here because the lovely, can I just squeeze through? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the tables are very close together. Hi, this is Terry. Hi, Terry. Hi, how are you going? Good, show us what you're working on. I'm doing the Heaven and Earth Design Mini Tiger Family. Oh, and so tell us, what are you stitching on it on? What size fabric? And That's an 18 count. Uh -huh. yeah. And you're obviously a Parker. Uh, yes. yes. Royal Royal Rose. Royal Rose Royal Parker. Rose. Awesome. And can I ask you one more question? Oh, if you must. I must. <laughs> what has been your favourite part or one of your favourite parts of the Stitching in the Mountain Retreat? Uh, meeting everyone. Yeah. Um, and just having a good time. I mean, it's been a great time up here this weekend. So Excellent. Well, thank yeah. you for letting us, letting us film you. There we go. So this is one table. Jenny's going to take us to the next person over here. This table's a bit empty at the moment because that's where I'm actually sitting. Here we are. Who have we got here? Hello, I'm Tessa. And I'm stitching on the blue flower Hearts Ooh, for Pam. Pretty. Oh, you've got your Hearts so, for Pam. Lovely. That's gorgeous. Which very There's a whole bunch of Australian animals and plants. And I used to be a zookeeper who used to work with Tassie Devils. So ah. I am... Um, very honoured to be stitching. Fantastic. Yes. Tessa, it does beautiful project bags and yes. things. You Thank might you. be seeing one of them later in my haul. Oh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good. What's been your favourite thing apart from meeting all the people? Because we oh, have the same answer. We, yeah, we that's know that's everyone's favourite. Like meeting like minded people, but just but, being able to stay here mm -hmm. and just come up here at whatever time and stitch. And there's always mm -hmm. someone around. So actually being able to stay on site in the lovely Blue Mountains has been really, really great. Wonderful, thank you. So I'm gonna squeeze behind you. So just as we go around, the set of the buttons. Michelle didn't want me to film. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Michelle, what have you been stitching on today? I am stitching on a Ooh. beer shelf. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Now you're, it's a full coverage as well, but you're not a parker. I'm not a parker. What sort of full coverage stitcher are you doing at the moment? Uh, cross country, wherever. I, I'm stitching a beer bottle at a time at the moment because um, I may have made a personalisation. That's oh. There's nothing wrong with personalisations. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and what's been your favourite part about this particular retreat? Because being a different type of retreat, what have you enjoyed about it that we haven't already said? Okay, well, I, I like the um, idea of the classes. Like okay. you, the designers are designing things and teaching you how to do them. Wonderful. Thank you. That's, That's really good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and here's another friendly table. This one's got lots of people on it. Hi, ladies. Good morning. Hello. Hello. We'll give you a quick scoop of what they're doing. We've got Carol Manning Bronwyn. Bronwyn, you've met before. Bronwyn? Um, we saw Bronwyn down in Tassie. Nice to see you again. Lovely. There seems to be a bit of a theme here. There is. Oh. Carolyn Manning. Yes, oh. and, and this looks like a Carolyn Manning as well. Oh, my goodness. We've got three Carolyn Manning. You're, you're, you're a bit out of, out of, out of oh, work. Sure. I am. I'm out of work. But, but look, yeah, she's I'm still out. welcome at the table, oh, yes. even though she's not such a Carolyn. So, okay, so um, what... 
What, all right, well, your stitching, Carol. Don Manning, st oh, strawberry honestly. jam. It's a bit boring on Ada, but yeah. it just works well hey, for Carolyn well, Manning. So. Well, well, we've got an eclectic group of people, people stitching on all the fabrics yeah. here. So, yes, so can I just ask you, what's been your favourite thing about being at this particular retreat? Um, yeah. Meeting like minded people yes. by the name of Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just been just and just catching up with faces that I've met before and names that I've met before online, but not had a face to, so to speak. Yeah. And it's just seeing the company yeah. and the the more talking that I've had than actual stitching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Successful retreat then. Right. Exactly. We're going to show you some of the other areas now. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> yeah, look, we've got some stitches down here on the couches. And then out here on the veranda, and then we'll talk again. Hi, ladies. Hello. Say hi to Force Two. <laughs> Either of you willing to show us what you're stitching on? Sure. Yeah. Um, there's not enough. Really. That's fine. Juliet will show us. That's good. What are you stitching uh, on, Juliet? I've got oh, the retreat piece. I might run and get yes. The model yes. one. Yep. And then we can... This is the retreat piece. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. Now, mm. I'm also noticing, so you're stitching on linen, mm -hmm. um, a 36 count linen because it's a retreat piece. Yes, I know, that's right. I know that yes. answer. Um, and I want to know, apart from meeting all the like-minded people, mm -hmm. what's been your favourite part about being at this particular retreat? I think literally it is meeting the like-minded people. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's exactly it. That's, that's it. It's been mm. lovely. Have you had a particular favourite about the retreat? Oh, seeing the new mojo. Stitches. Yes, Ooh. getting to see all beautiful. the models. Oh, yes. she's so talented. Look at this beautiful view, everyone, just for a second while I'm getting <laughs> distracted of where we are. And meeting all the enablers. Yes. <laughs> Have you found it really good, though, having the, the different shops here to buy from? And Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, because it's it's instant gratification isn't it? <laughs> well it is and you can touch and feel that's it so right. that's really good that's exactly it well thank you for letting us impromptu a video but here's, <laughs> here's the actual piece she's stitching on this is the the mojo model and she's made like a beautiful little envelope a and stitching on envelope inside. yes and and she, yeah and it's it's actually called a whisquiff um and it's where the the lady of the house would have all her tools so that's the Joanna the Retreat special. Yes. Okay, we're going to keep going, mm -hmm. but I might just stop as we go through the noisy room for a minute. So this is Glenella. This is where we're staying. It's a beautiful guest house. And I will go out the front and show you the rest of it. Um, stunning. <gasps> All right, guys. So we have got, of course, one of our usual, let's interview the floss tubers that are here, <laughs> yes. but also one of the hostesses with the most, this is Joanna. Hello. <laughs> So, you, you, this, this, this is your, your, your yes. this is first retreat? Yeah. Is it coming back next year? Uh, yes, it is. Very, very, good, very, good, very, very good. good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> we can announce that on here because by the time I get this up, we're all going to get so yes. it's all good. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Honestly, it's been such a joy to be able to spend all this time with these wonderful people. And a big thank you to Lisa for doing so much of the mm. prep work and for just being so, so gracious in, in getting all this going. Really, well, really yeah. thrilled. You're welcome. So yes. what we want to know, I mean, you've got all your beautiful things here. Yes. We're going to get you to show us what they are in a minute. But as far as the retreat being, ignoring the fact that it's our retreat, yes. <laughs> this retreat, the Stitching in the Mountains, mm. is different to others. Mm. Do you want to tell people what you thought is good or different about being here? Well, first of all, um, the opportunity to actually stay together for most of us and to have the, the place open so even those who are staying in different places nearby can come and go <laughs> at any time they like. Yeah. And, you know, Lisa's a late night person, so she's up late. I'm an early morning person, so I'm up early. And We even had some stitchers come and stitch at 3.30 in the morning when they couldn't sleep in the middle of the night. Fabulous. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> which is it's so nice because you have the opportunity to actually spend more time together. And yeah, we, <laughs> some people said it feels like camp, but you know, yeah. better. But than... in a good way. It's like, yeah. it's sort of like a really upmarket school camp. Yeah. Yes. And it's very relaxed and enjoyable. And the fact that, you know, everyone gets to learn so much from each other, it's yes. wonderful. Thanks. And a beautiful location. Oh, yes. Just, oh. So, so, Joanna, I'm going to start over here. This, she's got all her beautiful displays. She's got a new product over here. Would you like to tell us about this new oh, product? I'm making some uh, postcards. 
everything's been a, a little poured through, so I just tidy. Yeah, no, this is, this is a this is a working shop, oh, but, good. but yeah. yes, so. yes, I'm making postcards just to add in something different and something you know to very add. Beautiful. I'm going to buy some very short. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> They're wonderful. Okay, so that's good. And then you've got all the all these are all like your old pieces. Yes, my old pieces. Mm -hmm. Fairly new one is mm -hmm. Hecky yes. Heart that was in Homespun magazine. Yes. Which I now get to release, and it was a big honour to be in that. Yes, and then we've got, of course, the famous birds. The birds. Yes. But he loves the birds. Um, and I have really to say, I didn't realise that Mary Barton was quite so small until yeah. I see her next to the others. Yeah, <laughs> she is. She's little. Oh, she's a cute little thing. Yes. Yeah, the wow. blocks. So these are the smalls, and there's a new release here that was a, a, apparently an exclusive to the retreat yeah. um, until Joanna leaves yeah. somewhere else, wherever she feels like it. Tell us about this. This is another little antique reproduction from a little tiny fragment that just someone was very happy to record their little bird. So I thought we better memorialise it as well. It's a little pillow that I've made, and it comes in a full kit. I do like the, the stitched the in beautiful silk. Yes. Yeah. Because you get to see the variegation in absolutely a whole way. Mm. So when it's done in cross stitch. Yeah, and it's stitched in beautiful Cascade House embroidery silks, which are another Australian dyer that yeah. I really love to be able to support. Oh, yeah. And satin stitch is really not anywhere near as hard as it looks. No, no you know, I've got tips on the chart <laughs> and everything, and it's it's actually a really lovely stitch to add some dimension and texture to. Can we have a quick work. look at, at the, the beautiful silk pack for the next piece that I can see oh, sitting yes, right there? Oh yes, we can. So, so people can look at the beauties. Yeah. So so these are the Colour Cascade silks and this mm -hmm. is the silk pack from the piece we're about to show you no, there. No, Cascade House. Oh, Cascade, House. sorry. Yes. Cascade <laughs> House. It's like the cottage garden thread. Yes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Names are too similar. Yes. Yeah. So um, how much is, is it to buy the thread pack? Well, they have a special deal here with, yeah. that is to be determined for my Etsy okay. store, so that will come. So yeah, to be determined, <laughs> yes. a beautiful, mm. yeah, beautiful, That's beautiful. the postcard and stitching ring and everything, so. Fantastic, that's beautiful. cool. Look at those colours, so mm. luscious. Yeah. All right, let's go and see, what are these beautiful colours <laughs> for? <laughs> Tell us. Uh, Echoes of a Garden Past, which is an antique reproduction as well. I've made a few little changes. But yeah, she's a real beauty that I, I'd hoped to release early in the year, but I think taking a bit longer it's been worth it. <laughs> well definitely worth it for the for the oh, yeah. for the for mm. the stitches at the stitching the mountains retreat because they got to buy it first. Wow. And it's absolutely she's so, Yeah, she's a one. Maybe turning up in my Christmas stockings. Oh <laughs> maybe. Oh, oh fantastic. I just so um, I, I, I don't know what my friends have been shopping. Yeah, no, 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 no clue, no, <laughs> no clue, no clue at all. <laughs> yeah, she's she's a big girl, but um, you, yeah, she beautiful. actually stitches up faster than you thought because you get all these little finishes yes. as you go. Yeah, yeah beautiful. She was yes. <laughs> All right, and then just quickly zoom around. We've oh, got the beautiful bookshelf. Oh, I yes. like I like the positioning I under, know, the, oh, the, lamp, yeah, under the lamp. Oh my so the lamp, it's 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 almost the same lamp. I, I must say the the, <laughs> the decor at, at Glenella is really it's, suited oh, yeah. Joanna and my aesthetic. Yeah. My style. Yeah, that's I mean, pretending I live here. It's lovely. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. All right, well, that's really good. So, why don't we quickly tell the viewers mm -hmm. about what's happening next year? Okay, so should I hold the camera and you two talk? <laughs> sure. Oh, good. All right. Oops, sorry, you just got my hand. <laughs> okay, so coming up in a couple of weeks, yes, we will start to advertise that we are actually going to hold another retreat here, mm -hmm. and it's going to be in June. Mm -hmm. I think off the top of my head, it's like the 14th of June that weekend, but we'll confirm that. But just to give you an idea, we well, had to move it away from this beautiful time that it is now because of all the ones that are happening in New South Wales in September. Mm. We didn't want to have an October retreat. But, you know, who knows what's going to happen down the track. But at the moment, that's what we're, we're going to be announcing today. The others yes. don't know it yet. Yeah. So we're super excited. Going to be back here. It's going to be winter. I think they'll have the fire going. Ooh. It'll be absolutely lovely. Lovely. Yeah, so, yes. so, so keep a lookout for it. Um, obviously, Joe's website, mojostitches.com, mm -hmm. is a good place, and we'll probably put the sign ups through there again because yep. that worked really well on yep. the Google form. Yep. Um, and I will announce it through the Facebook group of um, the Australian Cross Stitch mm -hmm. Retreats as well as yep. my pages. Oh, things. good. So look out for that, guys. Oh, well, thank you so much for listening oh, to you, lovely, and pleasure. for giving up your time to run such a wonderful retreat. Oh, pleasure. It's, it's been, been it's wonderful working with you. It's been great. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is my my little corner of the world. My little corner of the world. Hang on, I have to. I just have to back away so that you can see Lisa in all of her glory. And and, 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 and there's a little bit extra over here too. Oh, sorry. And and 
and t-shirts and so yes. I, I'm loving this venue because oh, I had the room to set up properly. All my crazy eclectic collection, as you know, my whole motto is to make things affordable and available for Australians. So I've been thrilled to be able to bring lots of different things. So we've got um, all the beautiful cottage garden threads and Jenny's beautiful garden path needle minders. Um, which we'll be getting back up on my website soon, people. Yes, She's yes. giving them to me today. Yes. Um, and I've got all my even weaves, linens and needles that are left. Um, hopefully Michelle will be happy. <laughs> Over here on the Christmas tree, there's a few new releases. So my, my Santa, Ooh. the beach, is stitched up on the tree. Very cool. I've got some, the wooden ornaments that you can stitch on. And also other wooden ornaments is my, my animal trio ornaments. So you've got the, the bear, the bunny, and around here's the cat. Although I have to admit, I was selling them separately as well. So a lot of the cats are wet. The cat ladies like the cats. <laughs> um, and then swinging around here, you've got a big assortment of the floss bling. Um, I've got signs advertising my fabric and cottage garden thread of the month clubs. Ah. I still have availability for people to join that. I think I've got room for four more people in the thread um, ones and I haven't got a limit at the moment. I need to find a better way to put all my patterns, but look how many designs I've now got ready for people to buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turning it sideways probably doesn't really help. Oh, okay. To turn sideways. Sorry. That's Sorry. all right. And yeah. then this is my nice display with my koalas. Oh, the little houses are yes, new. Yes, my little autumn houses have been released at this one. Very cute. Um, and they're released as a little sort of semi-kit with the with the, the things and the pattern. Um, and yeah, my koalas. I've got down here, I've got stitching goodies you need and my little mini, um, you know, thread um, notions boxes. These have been quite popular. They're two of the same because we were playing around with them in the class I gave yesterday and I was making more ones. Um, and then we've got my my stitching diaries, Ooh. which people need to start thinking about buying now. It's October. Yes. So this one is the one for you to keep track of how you go each month. You've got what you do each week. You can write down what project you work on the count. So there's that one. Um, and the other one I've got down here is for people who just want to keep a track of what they do in a more simple, traditional format of just writing and date and putting down some comics. That would be me, and yeah. then the other one would be Lisa. That would be right. <laughs> um, I've got my, you know, obviously my advent boxes. I'm putting the, going to be putting these up um, as kits and ready-made on the website soon ah, um, but they are cool. going to be something I'm going to keep offering as a class at retreats because the ladies had so much fun I wish we'd filmed it actually um, <laughs> making their own and choosing it sorry if the background noise is a bit loud but um, the shops have opened out join us <laughs> we've got my, my my needle thread holders floss cards scissors and this one a new item it's a Goodman project roll and yeah, no, that's really there you go. Really sturdy. So mm. I have those available for. They're they're one of ones like my project bags, which I've sold out at the moment. Um, that are order order in, and um, I can get it for you. Yeah. Um, and then if we come over here, are you still going? Yep. Okay. So I have got the new release. The new release of the number sampler. So it's Aww. released at this retreat. It's a cute little one. Yes. And That's it, pretty. it's a companion to the alphabet. Oh, yes. All right. And then also, we've got kits. So you can actually buy these now as kits with fabric and the, th the, the kitted up threads. And also got my first of my conversions, where you get the whole original Plum Street sampler, piece of my fabric, and then the cottage garden thread um, conversion for... Ooh. So lots of things happening at Paddy Glen Designs. Very exciting. Thank you. <laughs> right, yeah, it's too nice. Okay, so we are here with Nitty Nat, who's another one of the floss tubers who are at, who are at the. Ow, I've got splinters. Um, I don't know how I managed to get splinters. Anyway, yeah. Um, yes, Nat is one of the other floss tubers who is here with us at the retreat. We are now downstairs at. Uh, Glenella, so upstairs is where the stitching room is. Yeah, stitches above. Yes. <laughs> and they're all still stitching and chatting. They so we came are. down here to a nice quiet place because yes. one of the beautiful things about this venue and this retreat is that there's so many places where people can go in little groups to stitch and chat and mingle and not yeah. stitch and eat. Breakout and, yeah. spaces. It's quiet yeah, moments. There's, there's the back balcony, which we showed you before. We'll show you the front balcony later. 
or veranda. Yeah, sometime really. during this video, yeah, we, yeah. I don't know what order. Oh things yes, are going to yes. End up. So, somewhere you <laughs> just see the front of the house, and and so this is yeah. yes out the back underneath, um, and so more of the accommodation just through there. Yeah. So Nat, yes. what have you been stitching on at this retreat? Well, I've been stitching solely mojo. I've been um, stitching on Joanne's beautiful pieces. Ah, right. Yeah. So so the retreat piece. The yes. retreat piece. Yes, yes. We, we've seen we, we've seen the well wherever it shows in the video but somewhere in the video we've shown you Jo's sample piece yeah the, her, her, her one that she's made the up and a, yes and a couple of other people who've yeah. been stitching on that too yeah yeah, yeah so I've yeah. been stitching on that um, yeah. I've been having a quite good success uh, moderate really quite quite moderate oh wow success. you've done quite a bit I I've been steady steadily yeah. progressing so um, Wow yeah yeah I've got to say the this liar bird i had to oh. get to that super fast and i, I um, hadn't looked closely to realize that that's what it is but that's yes, what it is now the that you say that i can see it's a liar bird yeah. yes okay mm. <laughs> on the stand wow mm. wow that's beautiful yeah. yeah and one thing i'm really loving about that piece is that um, as well as being on the moon jelly that she chose from Paddock Lane Designs, yeah. is that she actually got Cottage Garden to re-dye one of their discontinued threads called the Blue Mountains. The Blue Mountains. Um, I have been hearing it from all of the other stitches as well, how lovely it is to mm -hmm. have that thread redone for us. It's just been... Wow. And it's such a beautiful colourway mm -hmm. and it really does speak of you know the dusky colors yes. that that you see the greens and the purples and the blues yeah um yeah it's it's absolutely <laughs> blue mountain so thank you yes. thank you thank cottage you garden yes. I very cool loved their threads for so long yes. and um yeah yeah it's it's mm. so good to have a piece that's been designed and put together by Australian dyers. Yeah, yeah. thread and fabric thread dyers. Thread and fabric yes, dyers. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... Um, now, I mm. do have a question, Lisa. Why Moon Jelly? How did you come up with that name for this one? Because <laughs> um, some of your other names, it, it kind of makes sense. But that's that's one that's kind of along the lines of nail polish colours. No, well, it's not anything to do with nail polish colours. Guarantee no, that. No, 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 no. I just mean nail polish colour names are sometimes... It's, Weird. It's because when I looked at it, it reminded me of looking at the moon. Okay. And when you look at the moon, you know how you've got that sort of like, it yeah, ripples. waffling, rippling colours. Oh, oh and okay. so I was trying to describe the rippling colours, so I came up with jelly. Nice. Okay. Fair um, enough. So because, moon jelly it is. Yeah. yeah. No, because I, I, I had that question, and I, and I can't remember who, but someone I was talking to somewhere. I yep. don't, it wasn't this weekend, mm -hmm. but it might have been Daisy Shane, was saying, why is it called Moon Jelly? So there you go. There you For are, everybody. People. Everybody knows. Good question. <laughs> it's it's that jellyish sort of mm -hmm. texture that we see in the moon. Yep. I, I wouldn't have said jelly, but but I, I can understand yeah. when, now what? in trying to describe the that, texture. That, yes, 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 yes. That is what it is. And, and, and also, the colour uh, is very, you know, it's that moon colour. It's yeah, that, yeah. that sort of grey, but sort of purple, but sort of like, it's just, yeah. you know, it's sort of an, you can't really describe the colour of the moon. No. 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 Okay, another question for you, Miss Nat. As a very experienced retreat stitcher, <laughs> who has been to many retreats. I've been to a few. Yes. Um, what do you think has been the biggest thing that puts this one apart from the others? Um... What I have really enjoyed has been the come as you please classes. Um, I've found them, you know, just that little bit of a nudge to say, hey, here's this little thing that we're doing that's part of what we've what has been provided in the um, in the goodie bag. Thank you, really great goodie bags. Um, but things like the name tag. Mm -hmm. Just that really <laughs> quick, easy, fun, and sitting around a table on the Friday afternoon and into the evening, um, chatting, getting to know your fellow stitchers while you're creating your name tag, um, and the the laughter of, oh, this floss is not doing it for me on this fabric, and ripping it out, oh. and 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 just that carefree we're here to have fun to stitch hmm. um 
and having those little classes to kind of say to introduce the the pieces has been really good um and to reduce the anxiety that some people might have about the specialty stitches that might That's be there true. yeah so you know yeah. and, and and encouraging you to actually fully finish your piece and also mm. you don't have to frame everything you can do other things with it mm. Mm -mm. Mm. wonderful so, yeah. yeah well that's great well thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us now thanks we know we'll you. see you again yeah <laughs> there's a high likelihood, <laughs> high, high likelihood of that so we're going to let nat get back to her chatting and stitching and laughing yeah and thanks. we're going to continue with our filming thank yes. you lovely so this is the downstairs lounge room really comfy nice lounge area the table look out for the patio now the rooms down here i mean people are still moving out of their rooms but we have got a room down here that is the run ahead so i can the, open the door oh, it's almost open oh thank you though this is the four person room so we call it the bunk room but there's no bunk in it at all look they've made their beds and everything look at that almost all there's another bunk but there you are so these are the two beds that didn't get slept in and there's another bed and another bed with an ensuite just to let people know what's on offer. So this is what's called the four person room. And then go back through the lounge area. <laughs> when Nat's walking, Nat's leading the way. How's your room for filming, Nat? It's pretty good. Okay, let's go, to, let's go look at Nat's room. Nat's room's a good example of the, of these rooms all share a bathroom at the end of the hallway in the downstairs yeah. rooms. But this is an example of the twin room, of Nat's twin room. There we go. So nice and nice, simple little cute yeah, room. Simple, cute little room. Did um, the job. Got towels, blankets, spare pillows. Yes. And mm. it's all heated and everything. Yeah, all right. totally cozy. But now here, this is the, the shared bathroom, which is nowhere near as bad as people expect. It's um it's got little separate oh, oh, it's hard for me to get separate stalls. So yes, so individual cubicles. But, uh... So here you've got, you've got the toilets, and the individual cubicles, and then another one down there. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> so that's what the downstairs bedrooms share this bathroom, but it's it's really not fair. Like looking down the corridor, that's how long it is. So it's, it's only like ten steps. Yeah. All right, and then. And and you've got individual cubicles, so it's not like. Multiple people can use the bathroom at the same time. That's right. Now, yes. and then these are the stairs that go up, but I'm not going to walk up the stairs with you. And this is one of the upstairs rooms. It's a messy room. What, what, what can you see in there? So we have big bed, um, bedside, a nice big mirror, beautiful stained glass door onto the balcony if you really wanted to go out. And then around and, here. And, and, and hanging space and stuff. And then an ensuite bathroom. And an ensuite bathroom. So the upstairs ones are on two sides of the house yeah. we go out onto the the main lounge area where we have been before so we've only got the kitchen to go so and let's go front veranda. yeah okay let's do front veranda first I know. while we're going yeah. okay there's the front veranda <laughs> hi guys this side and stitching and then if I go back here you can see the beautiful this, hi they're waving it's absolutely glorious look at the gorgeous gardens yes it's just stunning yes. happy stitches thank you yes happy stitches makes happy organizers thank you <laughs> and then we'll just go through to the kitchen down this way <laughs> Juxtaposition to all the lovely old part of the house, but and then you go into super modern industrial kitchen. <laughs> yes, oh, there's Natalie in there. <laughs> Hi, Natalie. So this is what there it is. So there's three fridges for us to put all our food in. All sorts of implements and 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 crockery and and cooking and dining table and dishwasher. Yep, which I'm going to put on in a minute. So there we go. That's where we are. And then there's also a door. Oh. out to the back veranda and all stairs to go back to the backyard yes. which is where we were looking before so there you go that's Glenella. all right guys 
We have another floss tuber here, and it's a floss tuber that I've never met before. This is Marion, and Marion's floss tube channel is uh, Crafty Yams. Crafty Yams. So yeah. check out Marion. She joined us for the retreat, and she's actually a local coming from this general area. Yes. Um, further down the mountain, though. So for mountain people, if they get a bit offended, I think, if they say they're local when they come from the total opposite end of the mountain. But for those of us who don't live in the mountains, it's local. I've heard people say if you're below Wentworth Falls, you're not really a true mountain. Person. Right, so you're but not really a you're a cousin. I don't, I don't agree. No, 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 fair enough. So, um, what have you been stitching on while you've been here? Ah, well, I've been stitching on um, Joanne's, so Mojo yeah. Stitches' retreat piece. So it's it's a little wallet. Yes, we, I think we, we've all been looking at it. Cast. So you've been, oh, you've, yes. yes. So what you've been doing that? Did you get yeah. much of it done? Uh, I think I've got about a quarter of it done. Great. Yeah, I've only been here half the, half the time, so mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's a really good pattern. It's easy to stitch. Awesome. It's been nice. And what's been one thing that you've really liked about this retreat? Um, oh, it's the first retreat I've been to, so it's great to meet other stitchers because I've never like encountered another stitcher in my real life. So it's good to meet, talk to people that understood things that you know regular folk wouldn't talk about. I remember I was holding a piece of linen and someone else was like, oh, that's a Whit Sunday's number 12 stitch curve. I was like, yes. They I understand. Yeah. They get it. Exactly. Fantastic. Now, um, Mariam actually is a designer herself and she's just started and she's got a special project that we want to share with you. And if you have any interest in this, I will um, make sure we have got the um, your email address up below oh, yeah. so that you can contact her for if you're interested in this project. So show us and yeah. tell us about it. So this is um, a piece that I've designed to raise money for charity. So I've designed a series of pieces uh, to raise funds for the women's right movement in Iran. Um, so this one, uh, it's some writing in Farsi and it says Zan Dendigi Ozadi, which means uh, women, life, freedom. Um, so in the last year, there's been a protest, revolution, uprising from women in Iran who are trying to get some more rights in the country. At the moment, um, women who go out without covering their hair are imprisoned and tortured. So they've been fighting against that. Um, that's the inspiration behind the piece. Uh, I've also got pomegranates, because I like eating pomegranates, but it's also um, the national fruit of Iran. Uh, yeah, so all the funds from this go to uh, Charity United for Iran. Um, yeah, it's been really fun going on the design journey, yeah. learning about the different software. Uh, yeah, so wonderful. it's great to meet other And how wonderful to yeah, put, your, put your, your talents towards a good cause. So if you're interested in, in purchasing the kit, it's Mum Merrim sells it as a full kit for forty five dollars. Yeah. And that all the funds from that go towards the charity. So mm -hmm. jump on the email and tell her you want to buy one and she'll organise <laughs> that for you. Well thank yeah. you for joining us on our on our course tube. Oh no, thank and, you um, for having me here. It's been a really lovely retreat. You're welcome. Yeah. Alright, so let's find out, Jenny. Since you're the the customer of the stitcher yes, 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 at yes, this yes. retreat. Yes. Um Let's start with the swag bag. Okay. Because Joanna and I were very keen to have a good swag bag. What did we give you in the swag bag? Mm. Oops, oops. So, yeah. so, here's the actual bag. And with, very nice bag, I must yes. say. Yes, yes. I, I particularly like it because, as we all know, blue is my colour. Yep. And, you know, this one's got a blue base. And, and I particularly like handles, it because it's got a zipper on the top. Yes, that's good too. It zips up, so... And it's even got a little pocket on the inside. And in the pocket, Jenny had no. Oh. She got given something. I got a nail file. You got given a nail <laughs> file. And it's in the little pocket, so it didn't scratch any of the threads or anything. Good idea. Good so idea. you've got a nice nail file. Yes, yes, because we always need those. In fact, I should have. I, I did notice this morning. I've got to chip out of them. Yes. So that was the swag bag. I've already pulled all the bits out. Um, the two sort of big. Non not exactly it's non stitchy yeah. so we 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 got a a mug and, and what i love about this mug is that it's blue inside and so it's got the logo in like reverse and forward yes yeah, so it doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed And this logo was designed by joanna from mojo stitches it's very and all cool my little swag stuff yeah. was designed and yeah, by because me. i drive I, i'm left-handed so i still get to look at a picture exactly. when i do so, so there was that 
and then it was like you, you'll hit comments a bit like school camp we all we, we got our uniform we all got a t-shirt t-shirt again with the, the logo on um, they did do a photo yesterday morning. And unfortunately, Jenny was going for a walk at that time, yeah. but yeah. And we'll, the photo will be at the end. All the yeah. photos will be at the end for you to yeah. enjoy. But what I love about these shirts is they are very generous sized and they're really soft. Yes. So they are the shirts that I sell in my shop, um, the brand Gildan brand. Um, and obviously you can't buy a stitch in the mountain shirt. But yeah. if you're interested in the other shirts on my shop, then it's the same one. So lots of people now know what the shirts are. Yes. So the first thing was we got our, um, our name tag. Uh, so Lisa had charted stitching, cross stitch. I'll show the chart. That's right. Okay. If anyone wants to copy their name <laughs> from this chart, feel free. Look, it's got everyone's name who was at the retreat. Yes. And down the bottom, a couple of specialty stitches that are used in the two main retreat pieces that we gave in the swag bag. Yes. And the idea of the name tag was that it gave something to stitch straight away. It gave me a class to kick off teaching straight away. And everyone got to stitch their name from the chart I charted and then practice and then I was able to show them how to do the specialty stitches. Yes, so it, that, that's my one. So it came with the little frame and the piece of material. Yeah. I chose to use different thread than anything that came in the swag bag. And then you got a big safety pin so that when you finished it, you could attach. Attach it to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't quite get that far. No, but it was it was there, so it was able yes. to be FFO'd, should yes. you want. So yes, so so I, I, I had a start and finish at retreat. Yes, and, <laughs> and, and that start and finish was rather important. What else was in your swag bag that was fun and made that quite an important thing, although it didn't count as a start? Bingo. Bingo. I ran a stitching bingo game. I um, found a place where I could make bingo boards, so there was like, you know, everyone basically had a different bingo board with the same things on it. and. Everyone loved it and I was so happy they loved it. But every time they did something on the board, they let me know and I signed it off. Um, some of them were competitions that had to be done at the time, like 50 stitches, who did it the fastest or whatever. Mm -hmm. but everyone who did 50 stitches and proved it to me could get their thing signed off. And if you go bingo, you got extra raffle tickets in the wonderful raffles, which we will show you at the end yeah. because they're absolutely gorgeous. Yes. And so it was a, a bunch of stuff. So some of it was stitching and some of it was not so you know, introducing yourself to someone new shopping at the two shops chatting with Lisa um, but then for the stitching use variegated floss stitch on Ada stitch on linen stitch on even weave and so for some of those th there was a bit of artistic license taken shall we say well I put those in because we actually had an even yes. distribution of the three pretty much coming like some people were multi but there was quite a lot who were just Ada, there was quite a lot that were just linen, there was mm. quite a lot that were liked even weave, and there was a, quite a lot that liked mixture. Yeah, yeah. And so I thought, well, if I put those three on, <laughs> it means that people won't get bingos as easily and their card being in different orders would make a yeah, difference. Yeah. Um, but yes, creativity was accepted because this was a fun, inclusive yeah. retreat. So if you wanted to stitch on Ada and you were a linen stitcher and the person next to you was stitching on Ada and was happy for you to do a stitch, mm. tick. Yeah, or... or, or linen also in variegated thread and you did one stitch well that ticked off two things mm. so um yeah and it was it was fun so i really enjoyed that we only had one person congratulations to sue yes she got a whole clean yeah, board she, she, like, so i i was missing for a lot of yesterday which is why i don't have a whole look sue did the entire board yeah she did she got the whole board <laughs> the only person to get the whole board and that's where it came the luck of having i guess yes. you know the, what all you did things yes um, so then we got a needle minder and also a needle threader, always useful. These were by Paddock Lane Designs and <laughs> will be appearing on my website soon. <laughs> but yes, needle threader and a, a sheep because we're in the mountains and mountains mm -hmm. are cold and sheep yeah. like the mountains. And we got some cottage garden thread. Everyone got a different skein. Thank you so much to um, Cottage Garden Threads for donating this all a skein of cottage garden threads. Yes. That's very generous. And then Cascade House, which is Cascade a group House. that... Um, Joanna's been working with the silks. Silk. They gave us all two skeins of silk. So these are not the ones I started with. The colours that I got were much more Ned's colours. So okay. we swapped. In fact, one of the colours that I got was the colour of the shirt she was wearing on Friday night. So, but that's the whole thing. And, oh and, yeah, and, yeah. And we were able to swap lots of things, and you know that's yes. a good thing. I even did a three-way shirt with my swap with my shirt <laughs> because I have shrunk so much that I hadn't. I didn't fit into it. Yeah. Okay, we got another pattern. Yes. Two so, patterns actually. Yes, so so. Round ornaments. Yeah, they look better in colour, but I was yeah. saving money printing. Yeah. Round and oval ornaments, and these are going to be available on my site. And they go with the... Okay, shame we... Hang on, I'm just trying to shake it down so... Yeah. 
with a, 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 a round ornament and an oval ornament and some threads so that we can we could stitch we can we can stitch that so that was the thing I sometimes in the swag bag you get lots of stitchy stuff but you can't necessarily use it all so this yeah, we've got pattern and then we've got the stuff to do it with yeah and then we got Lisa's retreat piece which I'll show you here. Here's the, the, the actual. Here's the actual one, which I am actually donating to Glenella. So this is Glenella. This is the house Glenella that we are having the retreat in. Sorry about the glare. <laughs> um, the phrase about it, the, the, three, the Three Sisters, which is a really famous landmark of the Blue Mountains. And then the phrase about, about it, which says... The colours change with blue and crimson blending. It's actually a quote from Henry Lawson, the poet. Um, I'm starting to use his quote, his poetry because it's out of copyright and I can use it. And that's a word, that's, um, it said that in the West, the colours change with blue and crimson blending. And that was the, a quote he said about the Blue Mountains. So I thought that was really fitting. Um, and I really like doing it. It's on a piece of my Eucalypt Forest um, fabric. Which we also got. Yep. A little piece. little piece big enough to do the pattern yep. on. Yep, yep. Um, because it's actually quite small. It's on 32 count and it's quite small. Um, and I really enjoyed it, but the, the words are over one. So because of that, I'm very nice. Oh, is that why that, oh, okay, that must have fallen out then. That's why this is loose, because my, my bag, so we also got the threads, but yes. it, it has the DMC and the um, yep. Cottage Garden. But I'm thinking that must have fallen out because I couldn't work out why I had this loose piece yeah. of paper in my bag. Anyway, so I gave yes. everyone the whole chart on a big size, but because lots of people were Ada stitches, I also charted a different version that just says the colours of crimson and blue in full stitches because on Ada you, you can't do um, over one. Yes. And then I thought, well, if some people don't like the Henry Lawson quote, I gave him a third version, which is called Stitching Mountains Retreat. Stitching oh, the Mountains Retreat. I didn't look at the whole pattern. There you so, go. Well, good thing you were describing that then. So this okay. this this lovely pattern I am giving as a gift to Margaret and um, Rowan, the, the owners of this lovely facility. And you'll see photos of us, um, Joanna and I, with Margaret at the end. It's a lovely lady, I think South Africa, Swiss, South African, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, from mm. um, Australia now. Yes, um, yes. And so I'm actually leaving her this as a present to say thank you for having us. Um, so I will be releasing this pattern um, in a slightly adjusted format for the public in a little while. Okay. But at the moment, it's a retreat slip. And then we also got Joanna's pe uh, retreat piece, again with fabric and threads, and also ring bling with, with an old stamp on because the pattern is... Joanna calls it all the hardware you need to do it. Yes, yes. But can I just say, Joanna, if you're watching this, <laughs> look what I have. <laughs> this is the piece of Joanna's retreat piece that accidentally got left behind. But how fortuitous is that for our floss tube? I don't, I don't. So I have it safely and I will keep it safe or mail it to you, whatever you decide. So we get to show you properly. So what she wanted to do was, she, it, this is called a husquife. Yes. And it's an old fashioned like ladies tool kit. Yes. And so- oh, So you can see the little picture here. So yes, you, you attach your scissors and, and stick your needles in the in the um, in the wool and in the felt bit, and then you can tuck all your other yep. bits and pieces, tape measure, whatever. And you stitch on the front, and she's made it like a like a, an old letter. letter. So a beautiful retreat. So she, she, that's what the piece is called, letter from the mountains. Absolutely exquisite. I'm looking forward to stitching it. Normal me at a retreat would have had this stitched and enjoyed it. But, but you wanted to finish. I your wanted baking. to finish my baking. So this one has to wait. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but <laughs> it'll it'll it, you know go into my little pack of goodies to be done sometime. Yes. So yes. So that's all of our... That's the good. That's the oops, swag bag, oops. guys. And um, I'm, I'm... Oh no! Plus there was a 10% voucher to use oh, at yes. the patchwork shop that's next door. Yeah, I, um, I may have used that. I'll show you what I yeah, bought in a bit. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I um. I did leave the building twice to go up and get food. Ah. Um, because that's one of the best things about this venue is mm. there's so much food available. Good. There's um, supermarkets. There's yeah. restaurants. There's cafes. There's everything. Yeah. Um. So it's really good. Okay. So let's move to your my questioning you. Okay. What has been your favourite thing about this retreat that stands it out? from other retreats you've been to? Well, I quite like how, like the other treat retreats we've been to, it's been sitting at chairs and tables mm -hmm. for the whole time. Now, that it was a little bit squishy sitting at the chairs and tables here. The, the tables yes. are nice and wide because 
they have quilting retreats here and so they need to be big enough for people to put sewing machines on and stuff um so it was a little bit squeezy if you were sitting between but but so yeah so there's the chairs and tables but then here there's also the couches and the 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 veranda or sitting outside on the balcony all the other retreats we've been to you're in the room and you're in the room and that's it you don't really have an opportunity to sit and stitch anywhere else here you, you, you could choose what you wanted and so like when lisa was doing one of her classes she asked all the people who'd been sitting on those tables to move and so you know you could th there were there were plenty of other places to go and sit and Ooh. stitch and you could also have if if the noise in the main room got a bit too much you could go and sit outside on the veranda and and sit and stitch in a little bit more quiet and solitude sort of thing and it reminds me of something <laughs> so yeah so I, I i quite like that that it's not just yeah it, it it from that point of view a little bit more sort of relaxed because there was the option to sit on a couch and and you know ned sat at the table yesterday and found that the hard wooden chairs that her back didn't like her mm. so today she's been sitting in one of the comfy chairs and I, and you can do that I, so that's that's been something totally different that yet yeah, we've had different stitching spots and i really felt it's fostered the idea of the of the um collegiality of us mingling Ooh. around and talking like yeah a couple of people probably sat with their friends a lot and that's cool there's nothing wrong with that mm. but everyone mingled a lot yeah, more but, but than i felt like four. i i, I had, oh, I had so many friends here that you know yeah. i kept moving although i did notice when i sat down to chat to lisa i, I got to tell her one piece of news and then she went to have lunch and so we haven't we haven't actually spoken this is us <laughs> this is us talking <laughs> Um, Jenny just mentioned. To be fair my... enough, she's been busy running the retreat, so yeah. you know. So Jenny mentioned my class, yes. so I'm just going to take this opportunity sure. to show you my class piece. This is what we were making. <laughs> we were making our own little notions boxes. Um, so I had all the boxes and all the bits and the instructions of how to make them, and I um, got everyone to you know pick their own fabrics and their own boxes, and they loved it. One lady even made three. Um, oh wow had different sizes and so these are another thing that you know as soon as I get just a little bit of breathing space in the next few weeks these are going to be appearing more on my website as well um, for purchase but obviously you'll have to buy you can buy this kit but yeah. like I've already selected the fabric for you you can't just choose your own however I have a lot of retreats that I'm going to next year <laughs> and I will possibly be bringing some supplies of this if the, if people want to do them mm -hmm. then you can pick your own it was great fun yeah. and and I think with that too it's a class that they can do on the spot like they don't have to yes. do any preparation so like Joanna took took everyone through how to assemble her her piece when you finished it but everyone had only just been given it so no one had finished it no mm. one was actually able to do it while we were here mm. whereas your little boxes, yep, they did it. Yep. yeah it was great done and dusted and, and obviously plenty of time if someone makes three yes so, yeah yeah it was good yeah. so it was really really good so mm. um that was that was fun and look that's something i really think i know that other people we've interviewed which you know is coming up sometime <laughs> um will tell you what they think of the retreat but Joe and I wanted to make it different because it mm. is two designers running the retreat and that is something that no one else does. Yeah. Um, so it was great. And we and people really liked having the two shops because Joanna and I are very different. Yes. Um, but complementary. Well, yes, because I know that mm. pe she was sending you mm. to, people to you because there was one, one of her garden threads. thread she didn't have. Yeah. And some people were getting material from yours to stitch her pieces. Yes. and. Because she doesn't sell the material. No, sometimes she sells, she sells the thread. It as kit, but well, yeah, but mm. but most of the time with her kits, it's mm. the thread and the pattern, not yeah. the material. You still need to get material. Yeah, and well, someone had lots and lots of material. Yes, so that's great. <laughs> All right, so that was good. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, I, as I said, I really liked. Mm. I love the flexibility. We we had a schedule, but we didn't bother printing and we didn't bother sticking to it rigidly. Um, I'm the th the thing we we really enjoyed was having the flexibility that people could stitch whenever they wanted, and I was up till midnight one thirty. I was the late night watchman, which is very much me, um, and so I stayed up with the last person till we finished, and turned off all the lights and locked up and all that sort of stuff. And I have no idea what time Joanna got it because I was asleep, um, but I got up by, by nine o'clock each morning, and and that was plenty of time. I know we have people up stitching in the stitching room at 3.30 and the layout of the building is so great that they can mm. stitch at 3.30 and yeah. no one hears them. Yeah. yeah. So looking forward to next year immensely. So if you're interested, <laughs> um, the best thing to do is keep an eye on Joe's Mojo Stitches website yeah. or the Australian Cross Stitch Facebook group 
um, that's Australian Cross Stitch Retreat. Facebook sorry, group. Australian Cross Stitch Retreat Facebook group <laughs> because that's where we will advertise when we officially yes. launched the the dates and what's happening. Um, but um, it's super exciting, and we can hold forty people each time that we have a retreat at this venue. Yeah. S -s sleeping here? No. Oh no. Oh, okay. Forty, 40 is the maximum, right? Yes. Um, it's, yes. I think it's twenty-two sleeping. Okay. okay. And forty is the maximum okay. to have because it was really comfortable. And there was room to move and, oh, and yeah, there was enough yeah. for everyone to sit in if they wanted to like when joanna did her her lovely class class this morning on um reproduction samplers and showed us some of her sneak peeks of what she's going to be wow. working on <laughs> such a talented lady well not not only that but but the pieces that she's been able to collect mm. like some of them are a little teeny tiny and some of them are quite big and just the the variety like some of it there's one that's almost stitched on like it kind of almost looks like fly screen. Yeah. It's it's some kind of wire. It's obviously not just beautiful. Um and then other ones that are stitched on like as tapestry stitched with wool and other ones that are stitched on linen and yeah, it's such a variety and and all the different colours and yeah. And fascinating to see like up close see the originals that she's created some of her her pieces from so mm. yeah mm. yeah very exciting so there you go so that's pretty much it from the retreat your plans is to work oh you work on on yoda no 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 no, 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 no. Hall. i know hall. and then oh, okay and then that leads us to hall okay yes. now i have no hall because i haven't had time for hall yeah but also you 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 were the shop yeah. one of the shops yeah um, well that, this is actually not just haul from here this is a little bit haul from here haul from the patchwork shop next door and also right, um, jk might have posted that she'd put a whole bunch of fabric up yeah she did so come on let's see what you got let's see what so, jenny's been shopping for okay so i went shopping at joanna's because this is why i wanted this so i got i've got the whole pattern but she she's done the joya noel just as a little separate one and and her piece is in that red frame and it's like okay i need to find a red frame like that now so i bought that and i also bought the the silk pack that goes with it because they're just so beautiful and you know they why are. not and then you, she's she's branching out and starting to do postcards and so you got a free postcard with every purchase lovely um and then from jk's <laughs> I, I i got two of each of these the 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 blue and the the sort of yeah, beige the coloured two count um, yeah. penny point fabric. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet, but no. it was it was oh, discounted, so yeah. why not? Why not? And okay. then she went to the patchwork shop next door. Yes. Now some of this. So the kit from Joanna. You, we we got the material, we got the threads, and we got the this Hard, this bit. Yeah. And that, we did and that not. Bit. Yes, we did not get the lining fabric, and we did not get this. So. Patchwork shop next door. I got now. If you hold it, you might be able yep, to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's just got a very faint self pattern for lining. almost for my lining, and then so it goes quite nicely with the lovely the cream. Oh, beautiful! And and there's lots of this left. So oh, good. I might use some. Well, also someone was saying, ooh, like the the the, the um oh the box the, the, the box. I I could make myself a, a box that has. Doesn't matching. have to be a turquoise, but yeah. No. Nice. Oh, lovely. Yes, yes. So because Jenny wasn't here for the box retreat um, class. No, because that was one of the times she was no. gone. So yeah, yeah. I'm um, sure we can arrange it. And then I, I may have got tutorial. some other bits too. Um, these ones just because they were fun, a bit fun and on sale. And then Liberty. Nice. Yes. Everyone loves Liberty. And then Tessa, who was one of the people who's who was here at the retreat, she makes project bags, and the patchwork shop sells them. And um, no surprises, it's a travel one. Oh, that's gorgeous. But I love it how, you know, this is Sydney, mm. which is, you know, and I went to Paris and I went to London and I went to Rome. And <laughs> very nice, Jenny, very yeah. new. Yeah. So, yes, so that's a, uh, and, and, you know, yes, most of my project bags are teaser, Taryn's bags, but I like to branch out and, and try other people's and as Tessa well. Tessa does very good quality too, mm -hmm. so I thoroughly yeah. recommend her work as well. Yes. And yes. I think we'll be seeing more of Tessa in the future. She, yeah, that's all I'm going to say with that. Yes. All right, so anything else you need to say to the people? So. I think you're going to see enough. So we're going to slot yeah. all the other videos in after this, yeah. um, which we filmed before this. So yeah. it might be a little bit haphazard, but that's the way our retreat videos but, go. But, but we kind of need to do all those little bits. So then we can now do our introduction of here's what to expect coming yes. up. 
<laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'll be back sometime in about two weeks with an update of whatever on earth mm -hmm. I decide to get stitching on when I get stitching. Yeah. Um, and until then, happy stitching, everyone. Bye. Okay, guys. Well, we've finished the retreat. And Michelle and I are about to stitch and drive you on the way home. I'm trying to show you a few different sites of our journey. Won't be probably as much filming as on the way there because we showed you a lot of lot of sites on the way there. But we're actually just heading down the road that the retreat was on, which is called Govett's Leap, Govett Leap Pro, and it goes down to a lookout. And I'm hoping it's a lookout that we can drive by and show you. Because after loading up the car, which you'll see the picture at the end of how much is still in there, it was, um, yeah, I'm not really feeling like going for a walk to a lookout. <laughs> But we've had a we've had a great time at the retreat, and we will fill you in on that. Michelle, what was your favourite part? Um, yeah, definitely meeting everyone. Um, lots of laughs, um, learning things. Oh, too much, way too many things. But it was really good. In fact, I don't think there was a bad thing about the weekend. Which was really good. Everyone had a ball, everyone was having fun, everyone did as much or as little as they wanted to, and that's really the vibe that Jonah and I were going for. Just come and do what you want to do. We'll provide some opportunities to have fun, to get involved. But if you you know want to sit in your corner and do your own thing, then do it. That's wonderful. Yeah. So um yeah, that was that was pretty good, I thought. Um we will have put in some other videos before this one. I'm not, I think I'm just going to do this as one big video now because I didn't get a chance to upload our drive, our stitch and drive, so it's just like a whole retreat special with a bit of everything. Um, so you will have seen um, all the raffles and all that sort of stuff, but the raffles was really cool and we raised nearly $600 for the charity, which was brilliant. And the charity was a charity for um, to help older women um, who are in, who are in need of assistance so um, that's really really a, a good thing because there's a lot of homeless older women there's a lot of older women who find themselves in financial Whoa, that was a big speed bump <laughs> hardship I'm not even speeding I'm doing the 40 um, financial hardship and they need support from people. Oh, look at this. We can, we're going to be able to see the lookout from oh, the car. Wow. So enjoy, guys, your really nice close up view of the Blue Mountains. I will go nice and slowly when we get down here and do a little oh, stunning. Wow. wow. This is a fantastic view. Absolutely superb. I'm going to pull in here just for a minute. Let you guys just soak up that gorgeousness. That is the Blue Mountains. You can see, like it said in my cross stitch from the words of Henry Lawson, in the West, the colours blend with blue and crimson. It's gorgeous. Isn't it? Blackheath again and we're going to head down the highway and we're going to show you the first bit of this drive because we didn't show you the last bit when we were coming because of the battery life and the um the hydro majestic hotels up here there's a bit of a traffic jam because they're doing a lot of road works so we're not going to be able to give you a really good view but it's definitely a nice place to, to check out it's the iga i did walk as far as this iga Beautiful old guest house, I would say there. Yeah. So lots of people left at various times during today. We were obviously the last to leave, um, and we we ended up leaving at three thirty.
which is one of the other things that Joanna and I were keen to do for the retreat was to make sure that people had you know equivalent of two full days of stitching in the retreat so we started we let people in at 12 on um, Friday and we kicked it off officially at 2 and then we let them stay till about 3 on yeah. Sunday which meant that everyone had lots of time to do what they needed to do, which is great, because it is frustrating when you you know, pay another night's accommodation and then go, and you're only going to get like you know two or three hours. Yeah. The next day, so I like I like to have a longer time, um, but the flexibility for people to leave. So we did it um, this morning at ten o'clock. I did my last little time to do a hundred stitches game to win raffle ticket entries, and uh, and that was good. Um, and then we. Um, we had the, the raffle drawing and I put all the photos in, you know, in at the end to, um, if I get them in time. Um, some of them are on Joanna's camera and some of them are mine, so yeah. see what I find. Um, and then we Joanna did this wonderful masterclass on um, her, her collecting of um, traditional samplers that she can reproduce. They were amazing. They were amazing and I can put the photos in of the ones she's already released. But I feel very excited knowing what she's got coming. Yes. I, I may even have to stitch one of them. <laughs> that's, that's a bit scary. But um, <coughs> it's down the track. She hasn't done it yet, so I don't have to worry about it yet. All right, so here's a really good view of the road traffic because we're going into one lane. But also of how the, the railway line hugs the, the road that we were talking about before. Yeah. You can also give you a nice view of the cars in Australia and the Really nice way of seeing how we drive on the left hand side of the road. <laughs> Unique part of the world, 
is. Okay, there you go. So in front of you, in the distance, you can start to see Sydney. Can't see the CBD yet. We're around the corner of this tree, so we can't see anything. Maybe the side of the water. Probably Sue getting the full coverage, but yes. um, <laughs> what was my favourite part of it? I did love um, the the stitches, doing the hundred stitch race yes, against right. Lisa. Yep. And it was also pretty fun actually that there was the different types, which we may not get next time. But yeah. but um, some of the other ladies and I decided that we'd do a stitch on each other's so yep. that we did a stitch on even weave, Ada and linen. That was fun. That was fun. I um, I did have an idea that I was going to employ with that from the name tag idea. I'm not going to tell you what it is now, but when we do the next one, I think I'm going to make that, that idea happen um, because I think that will be a good idea that I'm having. So well, that's the hardest thing when, you, when you're going to continue to run the same tree is you've got to have similarities but then you've also got to make a new each one so the big advantage of being a designer retreat is, is that you can um, you can obviously have new releases and exclusive each time so that in itself is a, a good plain reason to keep coming back yeah so the next retreat as we announced earlier in the video is going to be winter stitching in the mountains Fun. and it's going to be held on june of weekend of June 14th, which is the weekend after the long weekend. Awesome. So it's not the long weekend, it's the weekend after the long weekend. Um, it's going to be, from your knowledge, Michelle, it's going to replace my Shady Trees retreat because I yeah. wouldn't be allowed to go away on the long weekend and the weekend after. No, but... but that's okay. I'm happy to share my birthday retreat with you know, 39 of my closest friends. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go around these next couple of corners and then we're going to leave you to it and then the next time you see us will be another stitch and enjoy the view type of footage. And then we'll be back to you guys probably closer to when I'm dropping Michelle off a bit later on in the drive because how long did we say it was? Three hours or something? Yeah, about three hours. About three hours to get home. Yeah, here's another view. I knew there was another nice view coming oh, up. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's what I've been sort of waiting for. But again, though, I don't know how much you guys can see through the trees. <laughs> so what did you enjoy the most about this weekend? Oh, that's a good question. What I enjoyed the most was that it went exactly like I hoped it would. Um, everyone was relaxed and having fun. Um, people enjoyed playing the games. People enjoyed doing their own thing. People enjoyed getting their, their own food. I'm looking forward to, to reading the feedback forms when I get home and create them. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it was just a lovely, relaxed, friendly couple of days. I probably would have liked to have been there for a week, yes. then I could have got more stitching done. <laughs> but hey, I'm happy because for me, that was a big goal to finish that piece. It wasn't a big lot to do to finish it, but it was a big goal to get it done. Yeah. So that gives me my four pieces done for not over. Yay. I'm not expecting there to be any more. Um, but that's a pretty good goal, I think, for knock it over. That is. And as I already said with Jenny, I'm really pleased because that gets me. I've only got one piece left of the, of the ones I wanted to finish to get down to the 50, but I have to go home and look at my diary and do the maths because I have started a couple and I finished a couple of extras. So I may not be at the 50 yet, but it will be getting there, which is really exciting. That is. And it's only the 22nd of. October, so we've still got a good week and a bit to go of the month. Yeah. So, you know, that's a good stitchy time to be had by myself in that week. Um, I was just saying to Michelle before that this week I'm planning to give myself a little bit of a break um, because I have been working very solidly for a few weeks. Um, so, as well as doing my 
my usual, you know, real life job and I take care of my family, which has been a bit more annoying because I've actually got two girls and one with me um, for various reasons. Um, I will be doing my regular dye. Now, I just want to point out, actually, on that point, yeah. to my lovely customers, that I dye the orders on my website to order. They are freshly dyed when you place the order. And because I have a very busy life, and I do lots of things other than my padding lane designs business, which I'd love to not do, but at the moment the business isn't big enough for me to not do that way, yeah. um, I only really dye my fabric once a week. And if something and if something happens or I have to wait for a fabric to arrive from my supplier, it could be more than once a week. Like it could be two weeks. So that's why I already stay on my Etsy and my website that my fabric should be dispatched generally is dispatched in seven to ten work days. And that seven to ten working days is days that I can work. <laughs> which is still equivalent to a normal person's working days. Normal people have Monday to Friday as their working days, so you don't really have need to know which days of the week I can and can't work. But the point is in a seven day week, I can only really work for five. Yeah. So I, will, I, I mostly dispatch them on time within seven to 10 working days. Some people are really lucky because if I happen to be dying, or, oh no, it's not even the dying, it's when I'm cutting and, and overlocking. That's when it goes from. Yeah. So if Michelle places an order with me on a Tuesday and I am actually doing my cutting and overlocking on a Wednesday, then hers makes the grade and gets in the list. Um, and then when I die on the Thursday and I post it on the Friday, she's got it within about five days. Um, but if someone orders on the Wednesday after I've started doing the cutting and dyeing, then that means that they miss that week's dye on the Thursday and they're not going to get it until the next week's cutting and dyeing, which, which could be on a Monday or it could be on a Thursday. I don't know. It depends on what I've got happening in my life. Yeah. So I just want to make that clear to my lovely customers that, um, you know, please be patient and understanding. When your fabric goes out now, you mostly or, or your order not just fabric could be patterns or whatever you mostly will get a tracking number and I have to work out a way to get one of my platforms to automatically put that tracking number in because at the moment I have to manually type it and it's tiny titsy mincy teeny weeny numbers and sometimes I do make a typo and that's not helpful and I understand that um, so I'm trying to work on fixing that problem but um, you get the tracking number and then you can watch it because once it leaves my hands, it's in Australian Post's hands. snippets of the road and then that's going to be it so possibly be the last time I talk to you so thank you so much for joining us for this stitching road trip um, and for the whole stitching in the mountains retreat experience really appreciate it if you've enjoyed it please do like and subscribe and tell your friends because we are really still just trying to get those last 13 subscribers to get over that magical thousand that's been debating us for so long um, and again as I said before um, I did say with a question, and I can't remember the question.
question was, but please do write comments below if you need to answer the comment question, and then we'll be able to you know, get back to you for that. So coming up to the Hawkesbury River, which is the end of the geographical north of Sydney, we just thought you'd like to see it again crossing the other way with the gorgeous view of the afternoon sun. So what are you looking forward to when you get home though, Michelle? Uh, my bed and my pillow. Sounds good, bed and pillow. I reckon yeah. by the time I get home at 7.30, it will be pretty much time for my bed and my pillow. Um, I did enjoy not having the dogs taking up my big room. It's always a bonus. That was a bonus. All right, people, thank you for joining us. We'll leave you with a bit more of a drive without us talking. Happy stitching, everyone.